The only time I'm a hater in in Chad, honestly, is like in Chib's chat, and that's just because he's playing Cyberpunk. And I apologize to him. This is true. I apologize to him in our Discord. But I was I was just genuinely like I I and it's not fair to Chib, but I was like, if AAA games have one hater, it's me. If they have no haters, it's because I'm dead. I'm sure there's a couple of counter examples there, but like for the most part, I I just don't. I, I look at like a triple A game these days and I just get exhausted. Wake the fuck up, samurai. You ever wanted to do the same fucking mission for 50 hours straight? Hey, what are we gonna, hey, hey, Keanu Reeves, what are we gonna do on this mission? Okay, you're going to infiltrate a, the, the cyber bank of Night City. Oh shit, it's a fucking heist. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna like hack into the mainframe or like design, could we go in through the tunnels? Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna kick down the front door and shoot 70 NPCs in the head. Then you're gonna press E on top of a briefcase. You're gonna turn 180 degrees. You're gonna shoot 80 NPCs in the head until you get back to the place where you started the mission. All right, what are we gonna do after that? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take out a drug lab deep in the bowels of Night City. Oh, it's sick, are we gonna use like C4s? You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna shoot 61 NPCs in the head. And then you're gonna press E to put some C4 on some tables. And then you're gonna turn 180 degrees and shoot 35 NPCs in the head and walk to the place where you entered the mission. If you like it, by the way, that's totally fine. If you like it, it's totally fine. But like, I don't, so... Fuck you, <laughs> I guess. I remember, I, I remember where I first broke with AAA. I gotta be the only idiot on the planet who bought the first Red Dead Redemption. And then uh, uh, played more of the multiplayer than the single player. Because when I played the single player, it just pissed me off. I would like ride my horse out into the wilderness and there would be some snake oil salesman would be like, hey, uh, dang oh, you gotta get the mask. You gotta go, uh, gotta go to a lizard hole and go, and then I would ride my horse to lizard hole. And it takes you like 12 minutes to ride through the mesa. You get the lizard hole and some guy's like, you made it, bring this, uh, this bottle of uh, apothecary juice back to the snake oil salesman. And then you can put that and then you ride back out to him. It's another 12 minutes. Oh, but eight minutes into the ride, some people try to kill you. So you shoot them with your auto target. And then you're like, whoa, it's like the world's really alive. And I was like, am I the only sane human being on planet Earth? He hates story. I love story. It's just, this is like disguised story. People, they think I hate story in games. I mostly just hate the way AAA games designed as like a commodity are forced to dole out the story. Which is instead of like, um, hey, we got a great story. What they do is they, they break up that story into like 20 or 40 cutscenes and then put a bunch of like boring shit in between it. Like it's like if you went to see a movie and they were like, hey, did you like the first act of the movie? Well, here's six hours of busy work where you find out uh, where the protagonist got his new gun. No, in the movie, he just, he pulls it out and then his partner goes, whoa, new gun, where'd you get it? And then he goes, if I told you, then I'd have to kill you. And then they kick down the door together and they just, you know, do the fucking shit that you came to see in the first place. Um, before we do this, does anybody else shoot lasers from their eyeballs? Anyway, again, if you like AAA stuff, that's fine. Uh, join the club. There's a, about a billion of you. You can tell who they are because they say things like, Did you see the new Battlefield game EA showed off at E3? I know the last eight have disappointed me, but like this one, this one's gonna do it. This time they've really learned from their mistakes. Call of Duty. Ugh! Ugh! Call of Duty. Ugh! I play Battlefield. Well, I don't actually play it. What I do is get really excited for like the new one that they announce. And then I like play the open beta and I go, holy shit, holy shit, they did it. They actually did it. It's the best Battlefield since, since Battlefield 3. They fucking did it. And then it comes out and they, they're like, it was like $400,000 worth of DLC for it already? I'm not buying that. And then you just wait for E3 three years from now and then, yeah, anyway. <laughs>